Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth enjoyed use of the Royal Yacht Britannia from 1954. It was designed as a royal residence to entertain guests around the world, but it also contained one item that Philip particularly loved. It came from Philip's uncle Lord Mountbatten and is not something one would normally associate with the royal family having. The revelation was made in royal author Kitty Kelly's book The Royals. In the Queen's Passageway on the Royal Yacht Britannia, Philip kept a picture of Lord Mountbatten and actor Cary Grant in Las Vegas. The two men had posed with two showgirls swathed in feather boas, Kelly explained. In the picture, the two men turned their backs to the camera, and so did the showgirls, whose rennest and thunged backsides were without feathers, wrote Kelly. Mountbatten found the picture of the bare-bottomed showgirl so amusing he had it blown up and hung in the Queen's Passageway on the royal yacht. Philip was so delighted with the saucy snap he decided to keep it on the Britannia. Philip, who roared with laughter would not remove it, even for state guests, said Kelly. One of the Queen's private secretaries had a dim view of the Duke's pension for the smutty things in life. The Duke of Edinburgh is very lewd, very Germanic, Kelly quotes the secretary. She adds, the haughty courtier attributed Philip's vulgar preoccupation with nudity to his Mountbatten origins. The same secretary said of the painting of the showgirls, that's his Germanic idea of art and entertainment naked buttocks. In 1956, Philip set out without the Queen on a 40,000-mile itinerary to the South Pacific on the Royal Yacht Britannia. He and his companion equerry Michael Parker spent a lot of time on the deck of the ship sunbathing, painting at their easels in the afternoon, and drinking gin and tonics in the evening, according to Kelly. The pair also had a whisker-growing competition to see who could grow the longest beard. Queen Elizabeth, who had found out about her husband's facial hair while away, used this to her advantage and played a practical joke on the Duke of Edinburgh when he eventually returned home in 1957. It was a comedy moment when the Queen and Duke were finally reunited, Robert Hartman wrote in his book Queen of the World. Knowing that he had grown a beard on his travels, the Queen had arranged for everyone in the royal entourage herself included to put on fake whiskers just before the Duke walked in 